Good evening, this is Cheryl Peavy coming to you on day number 34 of Time to Live My Purpose Journey. Now, if you're just joining me for the first time, I want to say welcome. And if you're tuning back in to me again today, I want to say welcome. Thanks for stopping by. I'm so glad you're here. Now, today, I just want to say thank you to each and every single men and women who have been serviced or a service to this country and is still serving this country, protecting our life, making sure that we're safe. I thank you for risking your life, for leaving your family, your home, your job, everything that you know to go to another country to protect the values and morals or what this country was founded on, our beliefs. I thank you for protecting us and for all that have lost their lives. I truly am very humbled and honored and grateful for everything that they have done in order that we can continue to live the life of our dreams, walk and live in our purpose. It's very important for us to really, really think about these holidays that come up that are in reference to service, the military, what people have given up. People have made careers of being in the service. Some just go, you know, in, do their four years and are out. But whatever they have given their lives, they have come back changed. They've seen things that we can't even imagine, have been through things that we can't even imagine or may never, ever experience in our lives. So I thank you for risking everything that you have and you believe in for us. I truly, truly think we all just need to take a time out and be prayerful and pray for the protection and safety of all our service people. Now today, that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about what are you willing to let go in order to be great, in order to succeed, in order to live the life of your dreams, to live and walk in your purpose. What are you going to give up? Now, that's something that's very hard for us to really consider because sometimes we have to give up a job in order to walk in our purpose or go to the next level. We have to let friends go. We have to let relationships go with a significant other. Sometimes we have to get up and move out of state to go to a new place in order for us to be successful, in order for us to walk and live in our purpose. What are you giving up? And sometimes we have to give up our beliefs and how we were raised and what we were taught. Sometimes we can be so pig-headed and being so steadfast and immovable in something that we were taught, that we were raised to believe and thinking that our way is always the right way. We have to give up us being stubborn in order to move to the next level, in order to be successful, to be great, to live the life of our dreams, to walk in our purpose, to live our purpose. And sometimes we have to humble ourselves. We have to let go of our, I mean, truly, we have to let go of us. And sometimes we have to trust our vision, our ideas to other people in order to move to the next level. So today, I just want you to truly think about what are you willing to give up? What are you going to give up? What are you going to have to let go in order to move to the next level? Sometimes we have to rearrange some things. When I'm talking about sometimes we have to rearrange our goals. Sometimes we have to look at what we're trying to do in a different light. And sometimes we need help from someone else who's been there, who's already at the level that we're trying to reach. And it's not going to be easy. I'm telling you, a lot of us don't like change. I know I don't like change. And sometimes I don't like to be wrong. <laughs> Who wants to, to be wrong? But that is honestly a process of you understanding when you let go of your beliefs and things that you know in order to grow, that shows maturity. So you are maturing as you're growing, as you're walking in your purpose, living the life of your dreams. So today I just challenge you, come on, what are you willing to let go to move to the next level, to be great, to be successful, to be all that God has called you to be? What are you going to give up today? Now, as usual, I am going to leave you with a couple of quotes to make you think, to encourage you, to move you from where you're at 
to the next level. First one is maybe you have to let go of who you were to become who you will be. Now that means, think about it, I was just talking about that. Sometimes we have to let go of the thoughts that we believe, how we were raised to think of things in a certain way. Sometimes we have to give up who we were in order to get to the next level, to get to who we are called to be. Next. In order to grow, you must learn to let go and strive towards something greater. In order to grow, you must learn to let go and strive towards something greater. And last, don't be afraid to give up the good to go for the great. To give up the good. I mean, we could right now be saying, oh, I have a good life. I have a good job. I'm content. Everything's going well. You know, I like where I live, etc. But if you want to be great, sometimes God is saying, you got to get out that job and move to another job where I can open the doors so you can be great. Sometimes you got to move out of that city, out of that state. Sometimes you have to move just to another city within the same state. Or sometimes God says you got to move out the state to another state where you can grow, where you can venture out, where I can use your talents and gifts much better. So a lot of times, like I said, we don't like change. I don't like change. But what are we willing to let go in order to be great? And I'm telling you that a lot of times it's our stubborn, stubbornness, pigheadedness, whatever you call it. Sometimes we have to let go of who we are in order to get to the next level to who we're supposed to be. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, you know, excuse me. Thank you for tuning in today on day number 34 of Time to Live My Purpose Journey. I hope you have had a great Memorial Day weekend. It's time to get back to work. Ugh. And get back grinding for four days at least. And then here's the weekend again. Stay tuned. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.